Gemini, welcome to your end of June 2021 general tarot update. It's Serena here. Okay, so let me just shuffle the cards. It's funny because I was I I was going to like talk about the uh, full moon in Capricorn, which for many of you may actually be in the relationship sector. And I scrapped that and I started over again. But uh, I'll just leave that there because that might be something that is very uh, true for you. Wow. Looks like some kind of a celebration is at hand at the end of this month or something to celebrate in any case. The heart of the matter is the Ten of Cups. This is a card of the pot at the end of the rainbow. So it's like happily ever after. And so the number 10 is the number of resolution. And it can indicate that some kind of matter is coming to a close or to its completion in a way that makes you feel like you had, you know, that you had your dreams come true. So... It is connected to marriage, uh, for instance, as well as family. There can be like the sense of the joy of families, uh, you know, getting together. I mean, um, enjoying one another's company. And this could be somebody's wedding. If it's not yours, it, you might have an adult child that is... Uh, you know, having their nuptials and maybe you're in the, you know, you're the father or uh, mother of the bride and just enjoying that, the generations, you know, the 10, number 10 is, is all about that. Uh, but even your own happy union in the past position, we have the six of swords. This is a card of relocation or, you know, especially leaving a situation that is inharmonious, very um, full of drama or what have you. So an example would be if you're moving to be with someone else so you can be together. And I don't mean to just say when I say marriage, it could be you're moving in together with someone, whatever, cohabitating. Um, but it's it's like you escaped... A negative situation so perhaps you were already involved with somebody else and you're getting away from that uh, stress or that conflict or whatever you want to call that now because the swords can relate to um, you know like drama or some kind of conflict that is happening, but they're also related to the air signs. So we're talking about Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And of course, you're an air sign, Gemini. The higher message is a nine of swords, and this is a card of anxiety. And so how I read this is that, you know, the phrase that came into my mind is jumping uh, uh out of the frying pan into the fire. So in other words, you can change these outer circumstances, but unless you change yourself, uh, you might replicate whatever happened. But I want to say that these cards are very good. Um, so I don't think that it's necessarily that interpretation is, is really what is happening. The nine of swords is a card of anxiety. So perhaps for some Geminis, there is this sense of things are happening too quickly. What am I, you know, because you did have a solar eclipse in your sign, Mercury going direct on, uh, that's your ruler going direct on the 22nd of um, June. And there's so much happening for Gemini's, the sun, you know, has been in your sign for a few weeks and it just can feel a little bit overwhelming. Like, uh, you know, I don't know if I can 
deal, deal with whatever this situation is. And the Ten of Cups to me is like, ultimately you can, because you have, you might have family support. There might be people in your life who want to help you, who want to celebrate alongside of you. If this is something that you are, uh, dealing with, that is something, uh, quite enjoyable, but still kind of stressful because of the major shift that is occurring, that they're right there with you. What crosses you is the Ace of Pentacles. This can be the new job, the new income stream. Um, maybe this feeling that you're on shaky ground as you start something. Because uh, when this card is in the upright position, it could be speaking about the type of relationship that you're bringing into your reality. Um, if not with an earth sign, which is Taurus, Virgo, that's a big one for you is Virgo, Capricorn. It can be, if it's not that, it's somebody who has those qualities that you might feel like, hey, I can, you know, we're going to be together forever. Uh, the pentacles relate to the earth element and there's a stability and continuity that we might associate with it. Tangibility factor, you know, meaning that it's real. And of course, I'm everything is relatively real, but, uh, sometimes when people get involved in relationships, there's a lot of fantasy. It's not really, uh, practical, the relationship for, for like a day-to-day -day relationship. It's like those relationships where one person always comes into town and, you know, the two people can have kind of like this fantasy for a few days or a week and then the person leaves again but it's not really something that on a day-to-day -day basis could be sustained so um maybe you're in love with somebody that um or or or, or you or maybe it's like another thing that i was thinking about is that if you want to start a life with somebody and they have to do something else, like you can, you're traveling to see them, maybe they're in the military or maybe they're in, uh, they're in some other country working. So you're going to have this brief vacation and may, you know, like a wedding to, to, to actually seal the deal and have a honeymoon very quickly, but then they, you're going to be separated again. And so you can't really start that life with the Ace of Pentacles represent. So perhaps it's something more like that. But these are really good cards because what's coming in is a Nine of uh, Cups. This is a card of wish fulfillment. So basically I haven't been reading this uh, as a reading of, of anything other than some kind of relationship. And the reason why is because the Ten of Cups is in the centerpiece of this. I suppose if we were to make this more universal, we could say that uh, anything that you have wanted to come true can have a ripple effect and it can really uh, be something that is making your whole family happy and thus creating um, a sense of relief or a sense of, uh, wow, you know, this is really happening. But uh, having said that, uh, the Nine of Cups is, this is like you getting what you wanted. So uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, this, who knows, I was thinking something connected to... Um, the the Mercury retrograde, um, that maybe if you have been trying to get something started, uh, your own business or what have you, uh, it's the, the timing is still kind of uh, shaky, but you still have 
these good things coming in for you. And then the outcome is the Three of Cups, another Cups, which is a card of celebration. So this is socializing, this is having fun, but you're celebrating some kind of an event. Now, this could be a party. This, this might be that uh, you are, you know, uh, celebrating your, your adult child getting married and you're catching up with friends or, 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 um, people, the family members, uh, the three of cups is specifically, I think it's really geared towards friendships, but the, the act of celebrating itself and it's a lighthearted kind of a card. It just speaks to feeling that uh, something that is of an emotional nature is the way that you want it, is the way that you were hoping it would be. So whether this is about you specifically or your offspring doesn't matter because you still feel this sense of relief or just downright uh, satisfaction that it has transpired this way. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Happy birthday to those of you who are born at the uh, tail end of uh, Gemini. And if you would like a private reading, I do many astrology readings and you can, but I do tarot too, but you can check um, my website for uh, more description on those. Uh, the link is below. Take care. Bye.